Hey, hi, how you doing? This is Ryan. Welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So Marvel's Avengers finally, after almost half a year, officially revealed Hawkeye, the post-launch character that they've been teasing about since before the game was even released. Now, if you watched my previous video on Marvel's Avengers, you know how I feel about this game. I fucking despise it. I feel like I was ripped off. This game is a broken, unoptimized mess on PC, and the developer Crystal Dynamics look like absolute scumbags for refusing to apologize, offer refunds, just acknowledge the issues with the game. It's actually genuinely disturbing how the developers actively ignore just how poor of a state the game is in. Not just in terms of technical performance, but also its reputation online. Now I made the very, very poor assumption that with the Hawkeye content update that Crystal Dynamics were going to turn things around, that they were going to acknowledge the game's issues, its technical issues, its loot and progression issues, its bizarre lack of communication with the community. I thought they were going to turn the ship around with Hawkeye, because they have to. This game has been a disastrous failure for Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix. They've lost millions of dollars because of this game, because its reception is so poor, and the sales were so poor. So I figured Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics would do the logical thing and try to recoup their losses, give Marvel's Avengers a comeback story, apologize to your paying customers that you swindled, acknowledge the technical issues with the game, and commit to fixing them, showcase, be transparent how you're going to fix them, when you can expect them to be fixed. Finally reveal the upcoming characters that you've been teasing, Black Panther and Spider-Man. Give everyone some sort of idea of when they're coming to the game. Announce and showcase how you're going to be overhauling the loot and progression system. Make the loot actually worth a damn and cool and something you want to farm and grind for. But with their most recent announcement video showcasing the upcoming Hawkeye content, which is coming out next month, mind you, they released an announcement video, a trailer for the Hawkeye content now, this month, February, when the content is actually being released late March. What? The Hawkeye content seriously isn't ready yet. You have been teasing this character, you have been teasing this content since before the launch of the game. And it's taken you almost half a year to finally get this character and this content out there. Okay. Whatever. No idea why you announced Hawkeye so early when he was nowhere near ready. But then actually looking at what's coming with the Hawkeye content update. To say it's underwhelming would be an understatement. It's pathetic. First off, Crystal Dynamics still refuses to apologize for the state of the game, launching it in this unfinished, broken, buggy state that is not worth the money. No word on fixing the countless bugs and technical issues in this game. Oh, but Marvel's Avengers is coming to next-gen consoles, it's coming to PS5 and Xbox Series! How exactly does that make the game any less broken or run any better on PC? No word on overhauling the loot and progression system. No word on finally adding Campaign Replay or New Game Plus. Can you believe this? Marvel's Avengers has been out for almost half a year. Almost half a year! And you still can't replay the story campaign. You can't replay individual levels or story missions. You can't do New Game Plus. You, you can't replay the campaign. All of this game's budget, all of the effort for this game was put into the campaign. And to this day, almost half a year later since the game released, the only technical way you can replay the campaign is to go into the game's files, go into the game's folders, and manually delete your save data. Crystal Dynamics, if you somehow come across this video, I have to ask, why'd you never do this with Tomb Raider? In Tomb Raider, you can replay the campaign. In your Tomb Raider games, there's New Game Plus. Why? In your older games, did you allow for single-player campaign replay functionality? But for your latest game for Marvel's Avengers, you thought it was a good idea, a good design decision, to have it so that the campaign, once you complete it, is completely unplayable, locked off from you. That content essentially vanishes once you complete the campaign. Unless, of course, your customers inconvenience themselves by having to go into the game's folders and files and delete their save data manually. Let's talk about uh, Marvel's Avengers Competition for a second, the other live-service looter-shooter games it's up against. Um, the Division 2. Besides the tutorial story mission, you can replay 
every other story mission in The Division 2 replayed on multiple difficulties. You can create multiple different characters in The Division 2, so if you want to start the game from scratch and go for the tutorial and the rest of the campaign all over again, you can do that, that's an option. Looking at Destiny 2, with the release of the Beyond Light expansion, developer Bungie did make the fucking bizarre decision to remove the campaign replay feature, but as long as you have an open character slot, you can create a new character and replay all the campaigns from scratch. So there is an option to replay that story content, you just have to have a, a free character save slot available. A bit inconvenient, but at least that content isn't permanently locked off from you once you complete it. There is an option to replay it somehow without having to go into the game's folders and files. Look at Warframe. Almost. The majority of. The story missions, the story quests, can be replayed after you have completed them. So, Crystal Dynamics, I ask, why do you have to be a special snowflake? Why does your game have to lock off the single-player campaign content from your players, from your customers? And why, almost half a year later, have you still not added in, coded in the option to let people replay your single-player story campaign that you quite obviously, I will not deny this, you put a lot of work into, you put a lot of effort into, you watch those cutscenes, you look at those cinematic story gameplay moments. There was effort! There was undeniable effort. Crystal Dynamics, you worked your asses off making what is inarguably some quality single-player campaign content. Why do you want no one to play that ever again once they play it once? What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? So with all that being said, I'd argue that the Hawkeye character content reveal was a disaster for the simple fact of Crystal Dynamics refusing to take accountability for the embarrassing, pathetic state the game is in. But looking at the actual content coming with the Hawkeye update, it beggars belief. What's the upcoming new map, level, layout, location, biome? It's the fucking desert again. It's the desert, but with ruins and crashed ships and sandstorms and some dead giant robots lying about. It's just the fucking desert again. It's the desert with a few new acids thrown in. This isn't a new biome. This isn't a new location. It's just a bunch of reused assets. Are there any new enemies or enemy types? No, just more robots. Is there a new villain? It's Maestro, who's just Hulk. It's just Hulk! You just made Hulk a villain! <laughs> Another reused asset. Are there any upcoming new game modes? Nope. Okay, what about Hawkeye? What about- <laughs> That's Hawkeye?! A purple t-shirt and jeans! That's your version of Hawkeye! That's what- <laughs> That's what your fans, that's what the players, your consumers, that, that's what everyone's been waiting for for almost half a year. That's your version of Hawkeye. Talk about a bait and switch. Looking at the original teaser trailer for Hawkeye, Hawkeye actually looked like Hawkeye. He looked somewhat cool. But no, no, no. Turns out <laughs> Marvel's Avengers version of Hawkeye is just some dude in a purple t-shirt and jeans. Yeah. <laughs> You think people want this? You think this is appealing to people? Putting in the bare minimum effort and just reusing as many assets as you can. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with reusing assets. It saves money, it's efficient. It can absolutely be done well. Those other live service looter shooter games I mentioned before, Division 2, Destiny 2, Warframe, they reuse assets all the time. But there's usually always a mix of brand new content to go alongside with it, and the assets are usually reused in a way where it's not wholly blatant. Like, unless you really think about it, your brain's not going to immediately realize or acknowledge, oh yeah, that's a reused asset, that's something I've seen before already. Whereas with Marvel's Avengers, I look at this upcoming content that they've been fucking hyping up and teasing for almost half a year, and it's just a bunch of reused shit that's already in the game. There's nothing new here. There's nothing new outside of, I don't know, new cutscenes? Some, some new cutscenes? That's it. That is the only objectively new original content you're getting in this update. Everything else is a fucking reused asset. A blatantly, obviously reused asset. And the cherry on top of this shit cake. Still absolutely no word on Spider-Man or Black Panther. Again, two characters you have been hyping up 
and teasing about since before and after the launch of the game. You know, it's bizarre. It's fucking bizarre how Marvel's Avengers has actual shills and simps and fanboys that defend this game, that defend the atrocious state that it's in, that defend the nonsensical decisions from the developers. Don't misunderstand me, there is so much negativity and toxicity and slander and misinformation and straight up lies about so many video games and their developers and the states they're in and their reception and popularity. Like, the internet is full of lies about video games and the gaming community is, is full of liars who are hyperbolic and just say shit that is objectively not true. But when it comes to Marvel's Avengers, that is not the case. I am not being hyperbolic. I am not being dishonest with you when I say this game is a piece of shit. It's a train wreck. The video game Anthem was a buggy, unoptimized, unplayable mess for me, but I still enjoyed it more than Marvel's Avengers. I was still able to play at least a little bit of it before its poorly optimized state would not let me progress any further. At least with Anthem, I sympathized with the developers. There was some obvious effort and inspiration and talent behind it. It was just hindered by bad, really bad management, rush development, and just a series of unfortunate events. Anthem may be a compromised product, but I still sympathize with the developers. I could at least still sympathize with Bioware, despite the state of their game. I can't do the same with Crystal Dynamics. They've been dishonest. They've been obtuse. Their priorities and decision making are nonsensical. Me personally, all I want is some acknowledgement. Acknowledge that your game is in a poor state. Bioware can do that with Anthem. They acknowledged the game was in a poor state. Crystal Dynamics seems to believe they're unfallible, almost seemingly ignorant as to how much of a disaster their game has been critically and financially. Marvel's Avengers has been out for almost half a year. We're only now just getting Hawkeye, and there is still no word on Spider-Man or Black Panther or an overhaul to the loot and progression system or any word on actually optimizing the game on PC, fixing its oh fucking mountainous list of bugs. Nah, nah, we're getting none of that. What are we getting? What are we getting? We're getting the fucking desert again. More of the exact same robots to beat up again. We're getting Hulk as a boss battle. No new classic, iconic Marvel villains, just Hulk. Hulk's now a boss. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and Hawkeye, that post-launch character that's been hyped up and teased for almost half a year? He's just some fucking dude in a purple shirt and jeans. The lamest fucking Hawkeye I have ever seen. If you watched my last video on Marvel's Avengers, you know I can't even play this game because it's so fucking busted on PC. It's such an unoptimized mess. But even it, if it wasn't, even if it wasn't an unoptimized mess, what reason do I have to go back and play it? Say they release a patch tomorrow that fixes all my issues, optimizes the game, gets rid of all the game breaking bugs. Why would I still play this? Why would I play this game? Why would I want to play this fucking content? Why would I play this over The Division 2, over Destiny 2, over Warframe, over the upcoming Outriders? Fucking Outriders looks amazing. And it looks like the developers of that game, People Can Fly, have actually learned from history and the failings of live service looter shooters to make a looter shooter that we've all truly wanted. The game that we've wanted Destiny and The Division and even Warframe to be. The ideal, optimal looter shooter. That's what Outriders looks like. So why the fuck would I play Marvel's Avengers? Crystal Dynamics, what reason does anyone have to play Marvel's Avengers? Besides the story campaign that you won't let anyone replay. Look, if you enjoy Marvel's Avengers, if you like Marvel's Avengers, I want you to know there's nothing wrong with that. There are a ton of objectively bad video games that I like, guilty pleasures. Games that I am perfectly well aware are bad games, poorly made games, but I still enjoy them regardless. Stop defending, stop shilling for Marvel's Avengers and Crystal Dynamics. Marvel's Avengers is a bad video game. It's a shit video game. It's a pathetic video game. Marvel's Avengers is an example of what not to do. A lesson in mistakes that you should avoid. I have no faith, I have no hope that Marvel's Avengers will ever recover and become a good game. The only thing that Crystal Dynamics has proven to me over the past half a year with how they've been handling Marvel's Avengers is that they should just stick to making Tomb Raider games. Anyways, that's been a video. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed the video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to like button. Hit like button up to do it. Helps me help everybody follow the video. If you would like button, please leave a comment in the comments section down below. I love reading comments and near enough comments, please leave a comment. What are your thoughts, feelings, opinions on Marvel's Avengers? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you want to help out and support this video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit. And if you want to help out and support me directly, well there's always Ko-Fi and Patreon. Anyways guys, that's been a video. 
and I'll see you all later.